some people might say, does the view that you have, does this minimize what Jesus did? Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, the bottom line is, I think, that the traditional view minimizes what Christ did. Scripture says that Jesus Christ was the Savior of the world, not Mm -hmm. just the Savior of some of the world, not just the Savior of a part of the world. He is the Savior of the world. Jesus said, I came to save those who were lost. Well, did he succeed in his mission, or did he fail? Hmm. What the, the traditional view says is that Jesus Christ failed in his mission to seek and save the lost. But in reality, he succeeded in his mission to seek and save the lost. When did Christ die for you? When, when you he... were still sinners. Exactly. Right? You're in your sin. Who did Christ yeah. die for? Yeah, he died the for the ungodly. Yeah. When did he die for the ungodly? While they were still sinners. Absolutely. Did he accomplish his purpose of salvation? Yes. Now, it takes time. Basically, by the way, what I'm saying is that the only difference, really, from what I'm saying in terms of my theological perspective and yours, probably, or at least a a large number of people, is that God doesn't stop at the moment of death. Hmm. That after death, God continues to work. But I think that Jesus Christ succeeded in his mission to seek and save the lost. He didn't fail. And what the traditional view says is that Jesus Christ failed to seek and save the lost. He sought and saved some. He saved a portion, but he didn't seek and save all the lost, which I think was his mission to come here on earth. Nobody really knows what the afterlife is about. Even the people that come back from near-death sure, experiences, sure. it's near death. It's not death. Right, death. Right. So uh, I remember, uh, uh, was it Princess Bride, where um, the one guy dies, but they because well, he's almost dead. If you were really dead, all you can do is go through his pockets for loose change. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> right. What exactly happens after this life, nobody knows. But what Scripture says clearly is that God does not change and that his grace continues into the ages, plural, to come. So why go. would I think that somehow God's grace just stops? That doesn't see, God doesn't change. 